okay so in this video we are going to learn about Venn diagrams so what are Venn diagrams in simple words Venn diagrams are visual representation of sets so till now we have learned how do we define a set and how do we represent set in mathematical forms and we have learned two forms the set builder which is kind of the general notation from which you can build a whole set we just specify the set as a rule and the other one is the rooster form which is uh, in that form you will write down each and every element in the set now let's look at an example of a Venn diagram to understand how do we represent sets using these diagrams and this will be very helpful when we discuss operations on the set in the coming videos so let us say that we have a set u which is the universal set consisting of elements from 1 2 3 to 10 so all I have in this universal set is a collection of numbers which are from 1 to 10 now I have another set a which is a subset of the u and has the even numbers that is 2 4 6 8 and 10 and then we have another set B which just has two elements 4 and 6 and please note that B is a subset of A and B is also a subset of the universal set now let us use Venn diagram to represent these sets so u so usually we use a big rectangle to represent the universe or the universal set universe of these sets so we will say this is u now let us first write down the elements of the set a so what we do is we pick up a circle write a in it and write down the elements of a so in this case we have two 8, 10, 4, and 6. Okay. And now you can see that we also have a set B which has two elements which is 4 and 6 and that B is contained within A. Now how would you represent that here? So all we would do is we would circle these two elements here 4 and 6 and this I would label as B. Okay. And what are the other elements that we have? So we have 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So this is how we would represent a set using a Venn diagram. So all it shows is just in a visual way how the sets, individual sets, are related to the universal set and how they are related to each other. So we'll use this quite frequently in our coming videos where we are learning about operations on set. So that's all for right now. See you in the next video.